What's up everybody, it's Ivan Orshish with Trout's Fly Fishing, back here with your bi-weekly video fishing report and forecast. Rolling solo this week, Dave's mysteriously disappeared. It's really confusing and concerning. Don't know where he is, he hasn't been at his desk for several weeks. Dave, if you're out there, call me. So normally where I'd throw to Dave to talk about the South Platte, he'd say something about, great to be out there, all that old man stuff he usually says. And uh, I'm here to say some, some very similar things. Decker's is, uh, Decker's machine has dropped to 203. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of really good nymphing action when those flows were higher, and it's actually, you know, 203 is still a very healthy flow for the South Platte there, um, but we're seeing some really good hatches. So mornings have been trichocentric. Uh, you know, still seeing, you know, you can see some dry action, but it's definitely really good on the, you know, the smaller black emergers, um, you know, little RS2s, uh, little, you know, foam back emergers, uh, anything in 22, 24, you know, this has been really good in the morning. Um, you know, you still see, you know, you can see some hatches. If you like throwing tri trico to rising fish, certainly to have the opportunity. I, for one, hate it. So I, you won't see me out there throwing dry flies at trichos, for trico eaters. I hate them. They're the worst. It's personal preference, I suppose. Um, in terms of you know going into the afternoon, you know, blue wings have been sort of the, the ticket. Uh, you know, same thing with the nymphs. To be what you what you'd expect. Um, you know, RS twos, uh, jujus. Um, uh, seeing some dry fly action, especially when the clouds roll through. Uh, so that's always a good thing. Um, but you know, it's mid September now, so uh, you know we're going to start seeing you know fish on beds. You know, be mindful of those. Don't tread on the the reds. All that jazz. Uh, let them let them do their thing, so we can get the you know, brown trout population uh, you know, continue to thrive. Because I mean, the past couple several years we've seen some really quality browns uh, in there consistently, so it's a good thing. Uh, in terms of eleven mile trichos, blue wings again, and up on the dream is actually they've actually bump flows. Uh, I know they're seeing some early kokanee, semi early kokanee, I suppose. Uh, otherwise, trichos, blue wings, hoppers, streamers in the morning and the evening. Um, yeah, it's been quality. I mean, good seeing the dream up at 148. Uh, you know, it's a good thing for uh, all the fish up there. So, a positive. Uh, <clears throat> for our freestones, you know, for the most part, I would say, you know, the Colorado top to bottom has been fishing really well. We had a, a uh, staff fishing day on Sunday, so yesterday, and uh, I didn't get to go. I had some family obligations, but. You know, Ports back said, you know, it wasn't on fire by any stretch of imagination, but they you know, moved some quality browns. I know Jack caught a nice brown. Uh, so um, it's been fishing real well. I was up there on, was it what, Thursday with Zeke, and I think we hooked, uh, Har well, Harlan hooked. I was filming Harlan, and Harlan hooked probably 45 fish or so. Uh, moved some good ones on streamers towards the end of the day. Um, but, you know, Chubby Eats, big long droppers. You know, Zeke likes to rig a longer dropper, you know. <coughs> In terms of flies we were using, uh, rainbow warriors, lightning bugs, uh, hot belly uh, PTs, um, you know, smaller princes as the day went on, um, you know, those all, all doing doing well. So you have to be overcomplicated, just make sure you're in the zone getting the right drift. Uh, and you know, there's certainly some holes that were just stacked up with them. You know, we'll expect to see those chubby eats you know, into October. Uh, you know, fish want to put on those pounds in, in, in the fall, so it's always a good thing to get a chubby eat, so. Better than a bobber, that's for damn sure. Um, the eagle continues to be low. You know, definitely, you know, there's still a voluntary closure on that, um, you know, below Walcott, so, you know, fish that in the morning if you if you are around. I wouldn't, you know, go out of my way to go down there. Um, Arkansas is pretty low as well. Uh, it's been fishing well, and there's no closure on it. The, you know, water temps from what we've heard haven't been terrible, uh, you know, or haven't been bad for the fish, so. Uh, you know, same thing there. Uh, blue wings, you're starting to see blue wings. I would still throw attractors in the Arkansas. It is the Arkansas after all, so. Um, falls here. Leaves are changing. I think it was peak colors this past weekend, so uh, obviously it's a beautiful time to be out on the water. Uh, I've you know, come by the shop. We're fully stocked on our uh, blue wing olive selection in terms of dries. Obviously, I always have the nymphs, so it's, uh, it's a good thing. We'll see you out there, see you in the shop. Say hi, what's up? Uh, I'm out. And if you see Dave, let him know that Yvonne's looking for him. <laughs>